Voter suppression is a term more familiar to our American cousins across the Atlantic than in other parts of the world. Voter suppression is a US law referring to any efforts, either legal or illegal, by way of laws, administrative rules or tactics that prevent eligible voters from registering to vote or voting. Many claim that voter suppression has become worse since 2013 in the US, with the Supreme Court majority ruling in Shelby v. Holder. Critics say this ruling gutted voter protection by removing a key safeguard in the 1965 Voting Rights Act as unconstitutional. Section 4 of the Voting Rights Act required federal government approval of any changes to voting rights by any individual US state. Since the 2013 case, over 25 states have reportedly introduced new voter registration laws, which many have argued have rolled back the years of progress in voter enfranchisement, while others have argued that they have been key to preventing voter fraud. Those that claim that voter suppression is taking place in US point to administrative rules and more nefarious tactics than five are mentioned here. Firstly, purging registration in the name of cleaning up the list of eligible voters. Those who have died, have been disqualified because of a conviction, have led to concerns where perfectly eligible voters are removed or purged without them knowing from the voter electoral roll. And there's two kinds of voter purges complained about in some US states. Exact matching discrepancies in the state of Georgia where government ID does not exactly match the precise details on a voter registration document Voters can be removed from the roll, e.g. a slight mistake in the spelling between the two documents. Or the use it or lose it laws, where states like Ohio allow the removal of a person from the voter registration roll because that person has not voted in one or more previous elections. According to some reports, between 2014 and 2016 over 16 million people have been removed or purged, depending on your point of view from the US election voting roll. Secondly, in some key states like Pennsylvania, they require voters to use two envelopes when they send in their ballot. One to enclose their ballot and the second a secrecy envelope on top of that. Ballots that only have the first envelope are known as naked ballots and can be rejected. Thirdly, in some states like Wisconsin, some votes may be rejected because voters are not just required to sign their own name, but need a witness signature too, something that can be easily missed. Fourthly, limiting the number of ballot drop boxes to one per county as in Texas or closing polling stations in some southern states means voters having to travel further to vote. And fifthly, all this, critics say, and other voting suppression tactics including enforcing voter ID lead to long queues at some polling stations which can deter people from voting. And then there are more serious concerns that in some areas armed militia groups on the way to or outside polling booths in the name of voter security may discourage some from voting. Those who are Democratic Party leaning say that these are deliberate tactics to hinder and dissuade many people including black people, Latino people and some elderly to vote. And those who are Republican Party leaning say such laws are very important to prevent voter fraud and prevent anyone not allowed to vote from voting. Free, fair and smooth elections to make America great again are not easy to hold at the best of times, let alone in politically charged environments during a declared public health emergency, where volunteers to supervise the electoral process may be thin on the ground. So expect any election result in tightly contested states to be disputed and possibly litigated long after the US polling day ends. Thank you for watching. Please comment on this video. Please feel free to subscribe to Community Legal Education to watch our short legal video explainers and May the justice be with you.